Hey everyone, welcome back to the Chopper Fit channel. My name is Brett, and today we are reviewing the Skull Rider Mesh Flannel Riding Jacket. We'll go over some of the features before we go out for a ride here today. The Mesh Flannel offers the same great look as their standard flannel, but with the Mesh Outer Layer, it should be a much cooler ride during the summertime. The Mesh offers some abrasion resistance, but what will really protect you are the armor pads on the shoulder, elbows, and the back, as well as the Kevlar lining throughout. This flannel has two outer pockets as well as one inner pocket, but don't expect to hold too much in there. From the pictures here, you can see that from a distance, this looks just like a flannel shirt. It's only until you get up close that you realize the different material. Let's go ahead and take it for a ride to see what it's all about. All right, welcome to the ride portion of the flannel review. So like I said, we are doing this in a we are doing this in a similar way to the original panel where I had talked about it in the garage first and now we're out here riding. So the first thing that I will tell you out here riding is it does let a ton more air come through. It's I think about 65 or 70 today and it's chilly. Like, I have a chill going on. That's a good chill, don't get me wrong, but I'm used to kind of actually starting to sweat at this point. Not today, not today. I feel like the flesh flannel jacket weight is a little bit heavier. I don't know if it's because of the mesh material, that anti-abrasion material that's on there. I don't know if it has to do with that or not, but it definitely feels like it has a little bit more weight to it when you put it on initially. Now the key word there is initially because once you sit down and you're on your motorcycle, you really don't notice it at that. So that's what's kind of nice about it is, yeah, it's got a little bit of initial weight, but it's fine after that. Once again, I did take out the back armor. I just don't think back armor is for me. I even attempted to put on my Harley Davidson mesh jacket that has a spot for back armor and I put it in that too and it, I yanked it right back out so I think just the way I am built and the, for my comfort level I don't do back armor for whatever reason so uh, but for those who do like to run it I have a feeling it will be very comfortable for you so definitely keep it in if you uh, are comfortable wearing it now as far as the sizing of it goes I ordered the same size as the flannel, and I feel like this one is maybe a tad bigger. Um, let's put a comparison photo of the two up. So on the left here will be me wearing my 4XLT flannel, and on the right here is me wearing my 4XLT mesh flannel. So as we can see here, there should be a little bit of a difference. I feel like the mesh one has got a little bit of a bagginess to it. And then it's not a bad bagginess, it's just, it's size slightly different, I feel like. But I gotta say, the one thing I do love about the Skull Riders jacket is, one, they're affordable, they don't break the bank to get. And then two, the fact that you know that you are Kevlar lined and you got this abrasion mesh material as well. I don't know how well the mesh part would actually hold up in a slide, but I do know that Kevlar will hold up. It's name brand Kevlar. It's not like some sort of knockoff. It's legit. So it makes me, one, a much more confident rider because I know if something was to happen, I'm going to be protected. Now, the upper half will be me protected. Uh, apart from my, my Jolly Rogers down to my ankles might not be, but my boots will be. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It's... Um, I, I guess I need to get some Kevlar pants then to be uh, protect the old Jolly Roger. I, guess. I don't know why I'm calling it Jolly Roger. Good lord. <laughs> as far as the quality of the build, after I've used this for probably about a month now, I, I have utilized it at this point in time. And I feel like the build quality on this one's a little bit better than the other flannel was. I feel like the snaps snap a little bit better. And I feel like the zipper is 
maybe oh so different. It could be completely the same. I don't know, but I feel like the zipper is easier to uh, zip up. And again, that could also be just to the what I think is the slightly larger sizing. But from a rider's perspective, it looks like a flannel jacket, which is exactly what a lot of us want. It's nice to know that I can have this on and like the other flannel that I have that I could really just take the helmet off and walk into somewhere and they would maybe not even know that I had been riding. Now, this one's a little bit more telling with it being mesh, but from a five to 10 foot distance, you can't tell that this is even mesh. So, I hope you uh, enjoyed this little pseudo review of the school riders mesh flannel. A lot of people get hesitant because they see their ad pasted all over Facebook and whatnot. Uh, this one I was able to order and within a week it was shipped out of Pakistan and to my front door. So give it some time. It, it will get there. It will get there. But with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And as always, I will catch you on the next Dark Side because this is the way. Chuck Fitzy on the next one. Later.